What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? This is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today, I'm going to show you 10 tips to speed up your design and render in Enscape for SketchUp. Let's get started. First is using the right styles to increase SketchUp speed. For this tip, I will use this model as an example. As you can see, since this is a big model, when I look around, my SketchUp doesn't look very smooth and it's kind of slow. So a good way to increase the speed of SketchUp is by using the right styles. You can do that by going to the styles tray on the main sidebar. Here, you can see that one of the default styles has been selected. If I click on the edit tab, I can see that the edges and profiles are turned on. If I turn these off, then you can see that my SketchUp is a lot faster and smoother now. However, I recommend turning the edges back on because you need to be able to see them when you're modeling. Now I'm going to go back to the view, turn off the profiles, and update my view to have this style. SketchUp also has useful styles presets. If you hover over a preset with this icon, you can see that it's a fast modeling style, which is optimized to speed up your model. Just choose the ones that have this icon and it will make your SketchUp faster. Number 2. Optimize rendering quality. When using Enscape, if your model is running a little slow, then go into the Enscape settings window and lower the rendering quality to improve performance. I also recommend turning on automatic resolution, which reduces the resolution dynamically to ensure a smooth frame rate. Here is a comparison between the two settings. There we go, you can see that it's faster now. Number 3. Utilize rendering styles. Enscape also has different rendering styles that help you improve your workflow. In the settings window, on the general tab, you can click here and choose a different rendering style mode. First is the white mode, which makes your model look like it's made out of paper. If you're working on the conceptual design, use this mode to focus on the form and shape of the model. This also makes Enscape runs faster too. Next is the polystyrene mode, which makes your model look like it's made out of styrofoam. You can also use this transmission slider to control how much light is transmitted through the geometry. Use this mode to make your model look like a physical model of your project. And finally, the light view mode provides a heat map of the model, which makes it easier to study the lighting of your render so you can adjust it accordingly. Here you can see that this part is a little dark, so I can adjust it here while using the light view mode as a reference. When using these modes, you can also use this slider here to add outlines to your model so you can see the form easier. Number 4. Use Proxy Another way to increase the speed of your model is to use the Linked Model feature, also known as Proxy, which allows geometry to be imported from an external model at render time only. This makes it possible to render large scenes with many complex models more than SketchUp itself can handle. You can also turn an existing object in the model into a proxy using this option here. When saving this model, remember to keep it organized so that you know where to find it later. I did a whole video on this topic, so watch it if you want to know more about using proxy in Enscape. Number 5. Create your own asset library. Even if you don't use the proxy feature, you should still save your 3D assets in your personal library so you can use them in another model later. Since these are already optimized, they will be render ready the next time you import them into SketchUp. Also remember to keep your asset library organized so you can easily find them later. Here is an example of how to organize your assets. You can organize by categories such as 3D models, IES lights, skyboxes, and sound effects. Then for large categories such as 3D models, you can have subcategories such as cars, decorations, furniture, people, etc. Number 6 free resources. Now that you have set up your own library, there are lots of websites where you can download free resources to fill up your library. I've made a couple of videos on where you can download materials and models for free, so you can watch those videos to learn more. You can also follow this link to see Enscape blog posts on the best free resources for architecture projects. I will leave all of these links in the description box below as well. With these resources, you can build up your library to as big as you like, similar to what I have here. Number 7. Enscape Asset Library In the new version of Enscape, there's also a new feature called the Enscape Asset Library. You can open it by clicking this icon here. 
This is a built-in library that provides 3D assets such as accessories, furniture, people, and vegetation. These are already optimized, so when you put them in your model, they are ready for render. I will cover this feature in more details in another video later. Number 8. Incorporate Views and Layers When presenting your model, use layers to manage your views so that you can change from day to night with a click of a button. For this model, I created a layer for the lights, and I assigned these lights to that layer. From there, I can update the view so that the day view will have this layer turned off and only have the lights on for the night view. This way, I can easily switch back and forth between nighttime and daytime render by just clicking these tabs here. Pretty cool, huh? Number 9. Use Enscape Settings To make this workflow even better, you can incorporate views and layers with Enscape Settings. For example, for my daytime view, I am using the skybox image with all of these custom settings. First, I'm going to click here to save it and rename it to Day Settings. Now I'm going to add a different skybox for my night view scene. Then I'm going to click here to switch to my night view. This looks a little bright, so I can adjust the exposure. A quick way to do that is to use the auto exposure option. I'm also going to brighten up my background and rotate it a bit. Then I can make more adjustment as needed. And finally, I can click here to save this as the new settings and rename it as night settings. There we go. Now I can switch to day view by first changing the settings, then click this tab here, or switch back to night view like so. It's super quick and convenient. Number 10. Use shortcuts. As you know, there are shortcuts for navigating in Inkscape. But did you know that you can quickly navigate between different settings using keyboard shortcuts? For example, you can change between the different tabs using Control tab Control shift tab will let you go backwards. Then you can press tab to go down through the settings and press shift tab to go up the settings. To change the value of each setting, you can use the home key for the minimum value and use the end key for the maximum value. Alternatively, you can use page down to decrease the value or page up to increase the value. If you want to change the value more accurately, then use the arrow keys which will change the settings in smaller increments. These shortcuts also work for other windows such as Enscape Materials and Lights Editor. There we go! Those are the 10 tips to speed up your design and render in Enscape for SketchUp. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any questions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.